I would say I'm a full shock you have. Whoa, one step in there pretty good. That actually fucks it pretty good for what it is. Hi, welcome back to 5150 and today we're going to be installing some Rockside engineering steps. Uh, these are an electric step, they have a step that comes down when you open the door and when you close it it goes back up. Uh, we've got our brackets and our hardware, it should be fairly easy, let's get this started. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the existing sliders. Brian made these, the, uh, these are off of a uh, JT, the pickup truck, the Jeep pickup truck. You just cut them down the fit. So first thing we're going to do is remove the uh, driver side and then we'll remove the passenger side. So we'll remove those. It's not going to fall good. Rock wheel off. Okay. Find it. So that's one of the sliders there. You see that rectangle cutout. That's the step that drops down when you open the door. Automatically uh, comes down. So when you open the door, it automatically folds out. And when you close the door, it automatically folds in. This is some of the hardware. These are the seals. This is the wiring harness kit. You gotta be working with that. Uh, this is a switch. This is an override. So if you're out wheeling, when you open your door, you don't want it to hit the rocks. You just uh, shut the steps off, basically. Different mounts here. It comes with a cool rock slide engineering sticker inside here. It's all built really nice. Pretty, pretty beefy. This is the control module. This is the Gen 3 model. So it's got two control modules, one on each side. New and improved. All right, let's get this party started. So Ryan's gonna open up the wiring harness. I just gotta remove the fuse. Probably the fuse now, huh? This. Uh -oh. Okay, I'm gonna
So Ryan's hooking up the ground, that's to the body ground right there. And then that positive, this here goes to the positive of the battery. It is fused, currently we have the fuse pulled out. Put it all the way down first. I'm gonna do that end. Yep. I gotta cut all this. Graphic write on for this? Probably not. No. I think it'd be cool. Okay. Alright, so we got that hooked up. Okay. Okay. Pulling out the trim there. Don't need it completely off, just need to flip up this carpet. Let's get the carpet. We're looking for an, for an axle pole in there, right? Alright, so Ryan's got the grommet right there. He's just putting a little bit of WD-40 to make it easier to put it in the, the hole. It's going to be hard to see. Yeah. Super hard to see. Can I see it from the bottom? No. Huh, that easy. So, like Ryan said, it's going to be really hard to do. It went right in. So we have two wires here, guys. The blue one's the one we're going to use since this is a, a two-door. Uh, there's the blue black and then the green black. The green black is for the rear door. So we're just going to hide that underneath the carpet or underneath the um, side molding here. And then the blue black is going to go up to our sensor, which is going to go underneath the uh, door strike. But for now, we're just going to kind of let it hang here since we got to route that cable underneath the Jeep, we're gonna go up underneath the rear cross member. Our driver's we're gonna run that right there where Ryan is on top of that cross member and bring it over here to the uh, driver's side. All right, Ryan's gonna fish up the harness up over the gas tank. And we're gonna run it up over this uh, cross member. Have your zip. Let me cut these zip ties off. Yeah. Oh, oh. Big stack here. You have to go. <laughs> Just gotta find that one spot that it fits through. Guys, that was kind of a bitch popping that connector through there. So we're gonna feed this, then we gotta find that other hole. All right, this wire here has got the yellow, red, and black. This goes up to the cutoff switch, uh, which we're gonna bring to the cab. Okay, sorry. 
I'll just use some push-in zip tie holders to pin some of the holes. There's a zip tie through there. There's one more up there. I can clean it up a little more still. And right now we brought everything over the frame here. Uh, we're on the driver's door. So Ryan's gonna have to figure out where that plug is on the driver's side. It's right here. We just fished all those through the hole in there. Ryan went to get the grommet. We'll back feed that grommet on this cable. So Ryan put some WD-40 on. Just like we did on the other side. Just to help it pop into place. I think the wiring is a little more difficult than actually putting the sliders on, huh? You think so, Patrick? Sliders are six bolts. Well, no. No, no, two doors. Twelve bolts. Fourteen bolts, first layer. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so guys, well again, we're gonna show them the long wire. So this is goes up. We're gonna I'm not sure how we're doing this yet. This goes up to the switch. This goes up to the switch that's provided. We're not sure if we can use that switch or something on the Ryan switch pod. We'll figure that out. But these two here, the green one with the black wire, we're not gonna use. That goes to the rear door. We're gonna use the blue with the black wire, which goes to the front door. Again, because this is a two door. You can see Ryan just bring it up there. And rather than that, just loop right with the sliders on it. Yep. Exactly what we're doing. Just get it up out of the way. All right. So we're about 80% done with the wiring. We'll start installing the rock sliders. Okay. We're gonna have Ryan's still finishing up the um, Ryan's finishing up the wiring. Patrick's gonna take some denature alcohol. He's just testing it there, making sure it's not gonna hurt the paint, which it shouldn't. We're gonna go ahead and clean up all in here because we gotta put that bump strip in here. Patrick's just gonna clean that really good. We're gonna do that on both sides. Do the other side, Patrick. There's Ryan. still crap. Oh, okay. Did you put the notch in it? Yeah, okay. Okay, right, so what I did, I just measured down and marked it inch and three quarters. This is for the little bumper rail thing. The bump strap? Yep, inch and three quarters. All right, now we're going to grab the bunch strap. And we're going to line that up. Why don't you do one side, Patrick? You already took, you already took it off. No? Oh, I thought it was red. Do we know how far back we need to go? Yeah, I don't think it matters. I think it should. I have... Finger? Yeah. Uh, I got a fat it, finger. Got a fat finger. I'm gonna move my way. Once it's on there, it's staying there. <laughs> well, it's staying there. <laughs> I, stick it. I can see my dot just here. Yeah, me too. Okay, now push it on tight. Push it. Well, hard. I'd make sure it's level. Before oh, it's, you rub They say once it's on, it's on. Right. Don't hit it. Just push on the whole thing. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not bad. Install the slider. Do you know my lung scratching this? Half nope, inch. Here, here. Here's one. Here. Half inch. That's not that's, that'll break. You gotta remember, you gotta work the body once because jail. Yeah. On all the jails, you gotta yeah, you kind of like clear the threads. So what Patrick just mentioned, what you, you want to do. So JLs and JTs are notorious for these bolts for the body mounts to uh, 
C's. So you're going to see what Ryan does. He's going to tighten it, then loosen it, and tighten it, and loosen it a little bit. Now he's going to go the other way. And you're just going up to the side just, the just kind of like you're tapping. Now go the other way a little bit. Just to kind of clear the threads. Because if those, if those bolts break in there, it's not a good day. Nah, it's easier to buy a new one. <laughs> a new Jeep. <laughs> easier to buy a new Jeep. You don't want to use an impact on it. I mean, people have. People have broken. Some people have been successful. That's just a pro tip. Go a little further, have okay, another turn. One more turn. Okay. Nah. You just want to make sure you can. It doesn't feel bad. It doesn't, okay. It can be a couple of older gels. Yeah. This isn't a first gen. Long bracket rear, uh, tall bracket front. Oh, that's the tall bracket rear. Right? Long bracket. I'm just feeling it. I'm ready to go in. It's right there. Okay. So this is the long bracket there. That goes towards the rear and the two door. And then that bracket right there is the one that's got the height, which is a bit more of a drop. That's going to go towards the front. Go above or below the washer. We got you below it. It goes below the washer. There we go. And you even loose until you yep. put the side on. Yep. Alright, so and back it's on. Three more. Oh, get down here, no, just one more. What? This one feels pretty bad. <laughs> What it is, they use a lot of Loctite on them from the manufacturer. It's just like a, a clip, right? I thought it was like one of those push clips in there. No, know. it's a uh, welded in uh, nut on the top of side of that that you can't access, so you have to cut the body apart to get to it. You cut to the top. You want it right here? Is a bigger one? No. He got strong. He can feel with this one. Oh. <laughs> You might be able to shock with an air hammer so it doesn't start. Try your bracket. I don't think I loosened it much more. Yeah, you yeah. Can All right. We gotta remove these bolts out. So the slider can sit flush. You want bolts of these? I don't know what they're for. No. Oh, so yeah, they, they hold the pinch thing together? They hold the fender to the pinch thing. Same thing. In the air pan until so the air gets stuck. And this is in it? No, they're a tank. Or, I mean, a little. Alright guys, we're going to install the slider. We got the brackets on. We're starting with the passenger side. Wait, wait. One thing I want to make a note, you do want to run this cable through this um, hole here. That way it doesn't get pinched. And we just fucked it up for a... No, no, no. What are we doing around here, Patrick? Lay it on the fucking pinch. On the lip. What? Yes. What? Ah. Oh, yeah. oh, 
actually fit pretty damn good. Yeah. Just throw them at me, Dave. Don't lose those black ones. Yeah, don't lose the black ones. Those go here. Yeah, you might just want to pop those in now. Yeah, give them the patch and go pop them in. So since we don't have currently have the the skip plate, we're gonna put the plugs in. That'd be something Ryan's gonna get later on down the road. This is in a washer, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, don't fall by me. What size do you need? Uh 13. There you go. Put this on. This one is different up here. Okay, now you're gonna line up your brackets, just prime them around until those holes will line up. Look at this. I like that. Is there four of them? Two of them? I don't know. Push up at uh, the same time. There you go. Oh, it won't come out. Body mounts to what? 80 foot pounds.
<laughs> Ryan just put the cover back on. He ran that wire right there. You're seeing that control that controls the um, uh, on off switch for the rockers, which is going to tie in down here to the um, OBD2 port. And he's going to go ahead and uh, wire that in now. Ryan's removing the bracket that holds on the OBD2 scanner port. It's a, in our case, it's an eight millimeter, and this is a two door. Ryan fed the wire through the bracket. Black on the bottom right, red on the top right, and yellow on the top left. And if you look at the back of the switch, you'll notice that the connectors, you see the terminals are uh, towards the top, and there's a bigger gap on the bottom, so that's our reference. Okay. Steps. Um, I can just pop the switch in. Okay, if it's easy to pop out. Okay. I would just leave the wiring in for now, I mean, just you have to pull it out. Not zip tie it up. Alright, switch is mounted. Gotta plug in this connector, probably can't see it. Okay, and then this one up here. Okay, we'll clear all this up later. Okay, Ryan's taking some denatured alcohol cleaning up really good for the door sensor back to the actual sensor turn back to the sensor so sticky but that's what on the inside behind that plastic Snap all that back in, the plastic trimming all back in. See Ryan put a couple marks here. That's where the magnet's gonna go. Clean the magnet off a little bit. Get it clean with some denatured alcohol. Getting a sticker. Just like that. Just like that. All right, look at that, guys. It works great. All right. So that's the passenger side. Let's go finish the driver's side. 
All right, it's just pushing the sensor connector down in the trim. Trim panel back in. Yeah. Ryan's just trying to adjust that magnet. Looks like he's got it dead on. He's just gonna put a little marker on each side of the battery. Battery? I'm oh, sorry, it's not a battery. It's not a button battery, right around the magnet. <laughs> Brian's gonna clean where the magnet mounts. Yeah, open it up. All right, Ray. Close it. All right, looks good, all right. Cool. Why well, do you open the door, right? Watch him. Cool. Let's go ahead and close it. Alright, guys. That finishes up the installations of the Rock Slide Engineering. Tell us what you think. Should we uh, repaint them to match the bumpers? Or should we just keep them black? Tell us what you think. Thank you for watching and please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.